What's up, Coach Dan Blewett here. Softball players, today I've got a good video. We're gonna talk about quick throws from shortstop to second base. And basically what this is, it's one of those throws where you have a force out at second, whether you're starting a double play or you're just getting a single force out. And you're not gonna to have to really move your feet very much. This might be a really hard hit ball at you or it might be just like a couple of steps to your right where you're just gonna plant and it's a short throw and you're gonna get rid of it quick. What I see a lot of times in baseball and softball is players get this and they sort of stand up and they throw like a dart. They shot put it over there. We don't wanna do that. We still wanna stay down and we wanna use good throwing mechanics to quickly get off a strong, accurate sidearm throw, all right? So if you're new to my channel, I do lots of softball throwing mechanics and drill videos. I teach the mental side of the game. I have softball online throwing courses. All those are linked to in the description below. So you can find all those new resources down there. I have tons of playlists and a foundational uh, playlist where there's lots of throwing basics that I want you to master. So if you're new and you're trying to improve your throwing, definitely check those out. I also send out an email every week where I send you updates on my new videos, new blog posts, all that stuff. You can also find that in the description. So again, today we're gonna cover quick throws from shortstop to second base. Okay, so basically this throw, we're trying to get rid of it quick and accurately to second base. It's not gonna be a typically very far throw. You might have to range a little bit to your right and you might be here, but typically it's a very short, quick throw, right? So there's a couple tenets of good, uh, good throwing mechanics, no matter what we're doing. And those things are the chest needs to be away from the target. So throwing like this is never a good idea. And the shoulder's gonna need to pull back and pinch and we're gonna have this lower joint angle. It's not gonna be 90 degrees, it's gonna be less than 90 degrees, and that's gonna help us get more oomph on it when we don't get as much of our hips involved and we don't have as much momentum involved. So with one of these hard hit ground balls, we're gonna maybe start a double play or just get a quick force out. We're just gonna get the ball here. We're gonna shift some weight into our right foot as we pull back, and we're gonna keep this lean here and make our throw. <laughs> I missed from five feet away. So we're gonna be here, boom, just like that. What I see players do a lot of times is they field it and they come up and now they don't really feel comfortable getting here. So they come up and then it's that. And that's not the, what we want. We want you to stay down. You get this hard ground ball, boom, and then quick. So you're shifting into your right leg. So you funnel it to your center, you shift and you pull your shoulder back. And then from here, the hips, the knee sort of comes in and the ball goes there. So let's show that one more time, just like that. So I'm here, shift, and I throw. Now, if it's to your left, you might not need to do this, and that's not really the scope of this video, but if the ball is trickling to your left, you might shuffle and make a shovel pass to second, and that's fine. But when it's hit pretty hard or hit a little bit to your right, it's not gonna make sense to field it, shuffle to make a 20 foot throw. You're just gonna keep your feet planted, your boom, and then you get rid of it. So again, the big keys are bring it to your middle, get it off to the side, pull your elbow back, and then shift and your hips come through all like that. All right, so thank you for watching. I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed it, please like it, subscribe to the channel, share the video with a friend. All those things help support my work and I'm here just to give back and teach the community things I just don't think are being taught enough. I'm really passionate about baseball and softball, about good pitching mechanics, throwing mechanics, the mental side of the game, helping athletes and parents have more successful, long, happy careers. So if I've helped you, definitely hit that like button, subscribe, share it, and I'll catch you in the next video.